Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Duke Nukem 3D. This is episode 4, level 8, Critical Mass. I'm Ultimate Mantoid. Oh god, run. Ow, butchered. I'm gonna die here. So yeah, I've already fi I've already recorded Derelict. I messed up this recording. So, you can... I, and I am not re-recording Derelict. God, no. Duke, cry! Cry more tears! I know it hurts. Jump over here for the RPG ammo. Fire down there. You can pick up shotgun ammo if you need it. And up here is the atomic health. So make sure you pick that up. Now, in the Xbox Live Edition, or Xbox Live Arcade Edition of Duke 3D, down here somewhere, I believe, is a button, and it only shows up on Cooperative. This will take you past this next area. Why is this important? Well, you'll see in just a moment. Without it, you would be stuck here forever. So what it does is it opens this, like, a wall in here somewhere, and there's a teleporter that pops out. So the reason is that this opens up into the most ridiculous, secret, and painful, may I also add, in this whole game. As everything is about to come out on top of you and crush you, this opens up, and you can get in here before it does exactly as you think it would. Oh, no wonder this place is falling apart. Though, at this point, you'll teleport out. It's the only way out, obviously. And now you see why nobody can get out in co-op mode if you go through. You know. So. Anyways, you'll end up there with the two protector drones. Press that button and just get up here and watch. And listen. Get that crap out of here. Isn't it delicious? Alright, so pick up the scuba gear, pipe bombs, use the computer, come in here and grab the second secret! We have atomic health on the left and regular health on the right, plus 30. As soon as you come down on this end and you use the door, the lights go out. Make sure you get these guys lined up so that they don't uh, shrink you and kill you. Expander ammo right there. This is the exact same thing as this room that we were just in. So as soon as you walk in, however, you want to make sure you end up on one side or the other. Open it if you need to. So, mini hollow duke if you need it. Pick up the boots, lower the elevator, and then come down. Or rather, go up. Make sure you pull your shotgun out and you start shooting at all those beady little eyes. As long as you can see those eyes. This is not a hard room, and you do not need night vision goggles. But for the sake of it, there you go. This is what this room looks like. Cool. Two laser trip bombs. And there's also a portable medikit right there. Use the switch and open the fence. Pick up the pipe bomb. keep at it until, you know, wow, I think I got two of them with one set of shots there. Alright. Now here, you can make it easy. Chuck a pipe bomb inside. See how easy that was? Hop up here, pick up some health and armor. Puzzle time! Up the blue key that way. With the blue key, we can go in here. Night vision on, go. This room is pretty freaking dark. In here is the third secret. You can jump. 
Whoa. Up there. For the, yeah, chain gun. This is the only one in the game, to my knowledge, that you have to press all three buttons. Unfortunately, the height is pretty exact. So once you open them up, notice that there's a surveillance camera right up there watching. Drop down. And pick up the key and the atomic health and make your way back up top. You can jump up from there. The final secret needs the jetpack. You'll come up here. And of course, you know. Open this up. Pick up the freeze thrower. And with the yellow key. We can now access this area here. Open this up here for more protector drones. And no, that's not an atomic health. I don't know what that is, but... You can get in here. By the way, that... Uh, Overdrive override thing at the pool the poison uh, the poison pool those three switches yeah um, the stage is going to shake permanently for the rest of the level because we did that all right so back here is nothing quickly ow what the I guess it, uh, we kind of blew everything up then, didn't we? Huh. Oh well. What's down in here? It's just nothing. So, we'll just hop up here. Oh, hey, there's a ship! I'm pretty sure you know where that is. And I'll tell you this much, I wasn't looking forward to it. Alright, so with that all out of the way, we exit Critical Mass. An interesting little map full of little gimmicks and tricks and traps and all sorts of other neat little things. That first, uh, that spiral staircase gave me so many problems. I mean, when I first played this map, I'm sitting there going, what the hell is this? I keep getting squashed. Where am I supposed to go? After about, you know, like six or seven tries, I finally figured out where the secret was, and I figured out, you know, everything else about where to go, and it's just, that's got to be probably the hardest part of the map, is just getting that secret, if you're going for the secrets. If not, well, you've still got to run as fast as you can out of that area, but when you do, you're going to get double teamed by not only the two enforcers, but the protector drones on top of that. Speaking of protector drones, there's this map is full of them. How many of them did I count there at the end? There was like five or six? Maybe eight? I don't know. But there's at least ten in this map. And when 20% of your monster count is probably protector drones, <laughs> good luck. Otherwise, this map's actually not that bad. It's the shortest map in the episode. But given its nature, yeah, I, you, I'm sure you can see why. But... You start derelict falling from the sky, and you land into some water. So, we'll leave it there. And you'll see the next video, Derelict. Like I said, it's already recorded. I'm Ultima Mantoid, and this is Let's Play Duke Nukem 3D. Take care, and have fun.